Now, when it comes to sneakers, in my opinion, it's not always about chasing the hype. Sometimes, just sometimes, there are some very good sneakers which fly in under the radar. And today, we're gonna to be looking at one such shoe. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Kings Down Roots. My name's Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T. And today, we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Adidas Osra. Then let's not waste any time today. Let's just get straight on with the unboxing of these brand new Adidas Osras, which are right here. Okay, wow, these look very, very nice indeed. These are the brand new Adidas Osras. So before we get into the full review of this sneaker, it's worth noting that this actually released in the first week of October 2021 and had a recommended retail price of £110 here in the UK. Now I actually purchased this from the Adidas website, it's still sitting on that website right now, so I'll put links in the description down below. If you want to buy the shoe, you can right now. Now when this sneaker dropped here in the UK, it actually dropped in two different colorways. You have this cloud white bliss colorway and you also had a carbon colorway, which is a dark gray and purple out of the two they're both very nice but i actually prefer this colorway which is why we're doing this review here today so first impressions of this sneaker then are that it's quite interesting in the sense that there are definitely familiarities with this design there are parts of this shoe which i kind of recognize from other shoes uh, like the Oswego, but also other shoes too, which I will get to. And then the colorway is, is nice, like we've discussed already. And then there's kind of elements of this shoe which I've just not seen before, which makes this really unusual and really quite interesting indeed. Now, in my honest opinion, this sneaker takes a lot of inspiration from Yeezys, not only by looks, but also in materials too. First of all, Adidas is using Adiprene Plus or Adiprene on the midsole and outer sole. So that's exactly the same as the Adidas Yeezy 500. The second thing which really stands out to me is the design of the toe box. Look at that suede. What does that remind you of? In my opinion, there are definitely similarities between that and the design of the Yeezy 700. It's not exactly the same, but there are definitely similarities. And the third point, which really reminds me of a Yeezy Quantum is the material and shape of the pattern on the outside of the upper and the inside too. If you look at the Easy Quantum side by side, again, you see that there are similarities between the two. And on touch and feel, they are pretty much identical. The rest of the sneaker, if you look at it, you've got the outer sole, which is in this mint blue color. I'm not a big fan of this outer sole, I've got to be honest, but it more than makes up for it on the midsole, which I think looks really, really attractive indeed. You've got this nice kind of transparent gum over the adiprene, which I really like. I think that looks really good. Uh, and the upper itself, like I said before, is is really interesting in design features and it looks really nice and it feels to touch on the inside really really comfy so I cannot wait to try this on and see what it feels like on foot which is what we're going to do now so um, I'm going to put this shoe on feet and give you guys a couple of different looks and styles I would love to hear what you think so please drop me a comment down below Okay, having just put this on feet, what can I say? Well, overall, I'm just hugely impressed with this sneaker. I think it looks great on feet. I think that it's a really, really strong release from Adidas, and I cannot believe these are still sitting on shelves. It's crazy. In terms of sizing and fit, I went true to size, so my normal Adidas sizing, which is a UK 9.5, and it fitted just perfectly, so no need to go any higher or lower for sure. And yeah, overall, I just really like this shoe. I think that it's a great design. I think the colorway is strong, and there's even some nicer colorways coming up in the future which I've seen too. There's a lovely beige colorway coming up which I cannot wait to get my hands on. And yeah, overall just really thoroughly impressed. So um, good sneaker overall and try and cop a pair if you can. 
which you can because they're available right now. And yeah, pretty much that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It really does mean the world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>